everyone, this is Alia from AV News Network. Today I'm here at Google booth at NAB 2008 and the gentleman next to me will introduce about the radio automation from Google. Say who you are. I'm William Irvin and I'm the product manager for Google Radio Automation. Tell me about the radio automation. Well, radio automation is software that is used by radio stations to manage their content and to play their content on the air and there are other features that help the radio station staff do their jobs. And so Google is the largest vendor of radio automation in the United States and in North America, in fact. And um, we have um, a lot of years of experience in this product and in this, in this area, I should say. And we are introducing our new product, which is Google Radio Automation, which is the first third generation radio automation system in the, in the world. So we had a successful DOS-based product, then we had a successful Windows-based product, and now we are introducing a new successful, uh, a new product that we hope will be successful that um, is written in Java and supports uh, different operating systems. That's exciting. So William, can you show us some demo? Sure. So the screen that we're looking at here is what is used by the DJ to when they control the radio station. And the system is designed to be used with a touch screen. So we uh, include a touch screen with our system. And um, so on the screen are different things that the DJ can do. And the user interface is completely configurable by the DJ. So the DJ can configure the screen into containers, which is a section of the screen where they can load one or more widgets. And a widget is a small program that does a specific task. So um, in this container, I have loaded a widget which um, helps me run my radio station to control what's broadcasting right now. And on the right side of the screen in the other container, I have loaded four different widgets, which are very important widgets, but are not widgets that I need to look at all the time as a DJ. So I can add other widgets to the containers if I want, and I can make new containers on the screen to further compartmentalize the screen if I want. So let's take a look at some of the widgets. This widget is what you use to control what's broadcasting on the radio station right now. So you see that there's a song on the air right now, and there's one minute and 17 seconds remaining in that song. Then after that, we have uh, the remaining items that are, that are going to be scheduled to be broadcast in the next few minutes. And if I want to start one of those items, I just touch the start button, and that item begins playing. And as you can see, when one item finishes, the next item starts automatically. So therefore, the, it frees the DJ um, to do other things like communicate with listeners and do things like that instead of having to start each song individually. If the DJ wants to move a song from one position to another, they just touch the song that they want to move and they touch the position where they want the software, to, the, where the song to go. If they want to delete a song, that's possible. You just touch the song and it's deleted. And also we have the preview function, which lets the DJ listen to the song without broadcasting it. So that way the DJ can make sure that it's the content that they really want to broadcast. Now, of course, I keep talking about songs in this list, but of course it works for commercials and news and anything that you might want to broadcast on a radio station. So on this side of the screen, we have the hotkeys widget. And you'll see it says sound effects. This it allows the, the, the DJ to play any kind of item that they want spontaneously. So for example, sound effects might be something that you want to broadcast on your, on your radio station. Uh, you might want to play a, um, a sound effect over a song or maybe while you're talking to a caller on the air. You just push the button and the sound effect plays instantly. Of course, this can be used also for music beds that you might want to use while you're talking to, um, talk, talking to callers on the air or different things. You can put anything you want in the way uh, that on this screen and it'll play as soon as you touch it. We also have um, a search library. So if the DJ wants to play a song that is not scheduled already, they can push the search button and a keyboard appears on the screen and they can type uh, what, they're, what they're looking for. And we use the search technology to find that. So let's find maybe I've, I've done a, a search for the word money, and now we've searched all the audio in the audio system, and we found uh, several songs that have uh, money in the name of the artist, and some that have money in the title. And so if I find a song that I want to broadcast, I just select it, I touch where I want it to go, and it is ready to be broadcast. It's a lot of fun. Finally, we have um, a component which I'll show you called our uh, audio editor, and um, a lot of radio stations don't like to have DJs in the radio station all the time, 24 hours a day, because that's very expensive. So our technology allows the DJ to record their announcements in advance. And, um, and we simulate um, the on-air environment 
So we simulate the on-air environment for the DJ so that they can record announcements several days or several hours in advance. And so with this tool, the DJ can listen to a song in their headphones, and when it's time for them to make an announcement to you know, say the name of the song or something like this, they can do that using this screen. And then we play the beginning of the next song in their headphones. So to them, it's just like they're on the air live, but they're actually recording it hours or even days in advance. And then when it's time for that to be actually broadcast, we broadcast it exactly as it was recorded by the DJ. Another great feature of our product is that our product is the first product in the world to allow other companies to integrate their product with our automation system directly. So that means that those other companies can write widgets that go directly into our software, which um, allows uh, them to do things that have previously not been possible. So for example, a lot of radio stations use computer software to schedule music for their radio station. There's a lot of intelligence in those systems to schedule the right music according to the rules. And so maybe the DJ wants to replace a song, then using these widgets and these technologies, um, our system can communicate with those other systems and find out, for example, what is a good replacement song for this position. And it can swap it and then tell that other system that the song was swapped. Additionally, there are other integrations with telephone systems and other pieces of broadcasting equipment that are possible through these widgets. And that's one of the things that uh, make us really proud of our product. Brilliant system. So is this available right now? It is available right now. Uh, uh, the price is based on your application and, and where you are and different things, but you can go to google.com slash radio automation for more information.